threats, violence, intimidation of any kind are always unacceptable. And this kind of cowardly behavior threatens and undermines our democracy. It looks like the event was planned. This anti-hate expert says the man in the video subscribes to anti-government conspiracies and COVID-19 misinformation. He also took part in events supportive of the Freedom Convoy. There's a rage machine that keeps turning this out, essentially, and, and presents the political leaders or politicians in general as the enemy. We're seeing increasingly uh, people in public life, people in positions of responsibility, particularly women, uh, racialized Canadians, uh, people of uh, minority uh, or uh, different uh, community groups uh, being targeted. Politicians denounced the attack and posted messages of support for Freeland, including several high-level conservatives. We have to put an end to it and demand that everybody uh, treat other Canadians uh, with respect uh, when we debate political ideas. It is not okay. We need protection, especially for some of the, you know, our senior most recognized ministers. Former cabinet minister Catherine McKenna often had to beef up her security after facing threats. And there have been other recent examples. You turn your back on the people! Protesters screamed at NDP leader Jagmeet Singh at an event in May, and the prime minister was hit by gravel while campaigning last year. Targeted. This expert uh, says so beefing up security could be a challenge. Uh, these resources need to come from somewhere, and the RCMP is already short-staffed. Freeland's office wouldn't comment on her security. She says she'll continue to visit the province. Alberta's RCMP wouldn't confirm an investigation. Ryan Patrick-Jones, CBC News, Toronto.